Hi, everybody. Welcome back to YouTube's least viewed food review show. My name's Sean, coming to you live on tape from my basement. Um, I was lucky enough to go on a trip to San Jose, Costa Rica, and Bogota, Colombia recently for work. Got to meet a lot of my, uh, my colleagues around the world. And um, our beautiful hosts in Colombia gave me a bag of snacks which is perfect. And then uh, they said, you should post another video to your YouTube channel. So here we are, uh, almost two years since my last update, bringing you hard hitting food reviews from Bogota. Uh, so I want to thank Ezekias and uh, Maria Fernanda, uh, aka Mafe, uh, for bringing me these awesome snacks. I, uh, and a little behind the scenes, I recorded uh, a review with a whole lineup of candy, and at the end of the video, the the file was corrupted. So I had to, uh, unfortunately, I ate the last of some of the candies, so those are lost to the ages, gone, like tears in the rain. So I'll do my best to, to review what I have left. All right, first and foremost, we have, is that pronounced? Crocante. So I read online that this is like peanut and um, chocolate. You see a little nugget. Mm. That doesn't taste like um that doesn't taste like toffee. That tastes like, um, or that doesn't taste like peanut. That tastes like toffee. That's a um, kind of like a a score bar. Um, what is it called? Uh, you know, hard toffee, crunchy toffee, with a chocolate shell. Really good stuff. Uh, yeah, if you can pick up a crocante. All right. So what do we have next? <laughs> Serenata de Amor. What does that mean? Love song? All right. You can tell my Spanish uh, hasn't been practiced once in the last 23 years. Mm. All right. I'm going to have to Google later what's inside this, but it's a uh, sort of crunchy, flaky thing. Mm. Not my favorite, but I enjoy the texture, but the flavor's a little so so. I don't know if I got an old one or. <laughs> All right, now this one, this this is lapped, wrapped in, um, maybe that's a banana leaf. Uh, so if you want to pick up one of these, I guess you have to go to Bogota and just sort of wander the streets, see if you can find anybody that has one of these. All right. I believe this is passion fruit that's been candied. Mm. So good. I mean, if you like passion fruit and candy, it's, yeah, super sweet, but it's got the flavor of the fruit. Oh, just great. It's like, like if a Starburst was good. Let me know how you feel about Starburst in the comments. All right. Last but not least, Matthew chips. Now you can tell I opened these from my previous video that was lost to corrupted files. So, Americans, if you've had a plantain chip, it's probably dry, busted, dusty. This, these not two chips, Maduro, these are, these are sweet. So I, I think, if I understood correctly, Ezekiel said that um, the peticones and the plantain chips that we know are the 
uh, the green, the less ripe, and they smash them or they slice them and they fry them up. Maduros are the ripe ones. Uh, and if you've ever been to a Cuban or a Costa Rican restaurant, I, I mean, imagine a lot of restaurants have Maduros. Uh, it's the sweet plantain. So like, highly recommend. Yeah, pick these up as soon as you can. I love this. Bag has a map. There we go. I suppose that's where they come from. So we gotta get we gotta get down there. Uh, I'll next time I'm down there I'll schedule on location to visit these farms. Get some more of these delicious chips. All right, thanks for joining me on another episode of. Um, YouTube's least watched food review show. Uh, On my current recording schedule, I'll have another one of these for you in about three years. So thanks for tuning in and uh, keep snacking. Bye.